Right, hello. Um, this is GCC Geography revision video for WJCB. I'm just going to talk you through um, a few bits and pieces to remember. Um, and I need to apologise now because if I get a bit distracted, um, there's two pigeons doing some strange things outside my window. So if I look away, I have a slight odd look on my face, you know what's going on. Right, oh, no, it's alright, it's a cyclist. Um, two exams coming up then. Uh, first exam is theme one and two. That's people and natural world interactions and challenges of living in the built environment. That's on when, uh, Tuesday the 4th of June and that's for one hour, so um, 30 minutes for each um, section. Second exam, sorry. <laughs> uh, second exam is theme three, uh, which is people, work and development, which is for half an hour. And then following straight on from that is the decision-making paper, so a total of two hours um, for that one, and that's on Wednesday the 12th of June. So what kind of things do you need to remember? Well, first thing is uh, reading the front of the paper very carefully. I know it seems a bit of a drag, but it's really important that you read it just to remind yourself of things that you should be doing, uh, how many marks are available, how long you've got, that kind of thing. Um, and also it will tell you to make sure that you write in the spaces provided. That's very important nowadays because the exam papers are scanned um, and then sent to the uh, examiners to mark. And if your writing appears outside the areas marked, then it won't appear when they're marking it. So it's important you write in the spaces provided. Also make sure you know what you've got to do before answering the question. So what kind of question is it? Is it a describe question, an explain question, a compare? They'll be worth different numbers of marks, so make sure you take account of how many marks are available. Don't spend five minutes answering a two mark question because if you do that you'll run out of time. So when you describe, say what you see. If it's a photograph, if it was a map, say what you see. Use the evidence provided. Don't give reasons. If it's a compare question, say how things are different or the same using connectives like the, um, however, on the other hand, uh, whereas. But if you've got figures, do something with them. Don't just repeat the numbers. Make sure you say how much more something has gone up by or how much less. Work out the differences. Don't just write the numbers straight out again. You get no marks for copying out the numbers that appear on the exam paper. If you're explaining, remember the geography cat. Consequently, as a result, therefore, this means that. You need to make sure you've got connectors in there. Otherwise, you're just describing. If you explain, it's worth more marks, and you only get the more, you only get those additional marks if you give reasons. I mentioned about the resources provided. You'll be asked to answer questions which refer to maps, photographs, that kind of thing. If the question says to you, "What evidence is there about something?" and there's a photograph, use the photograph or use the map. Refer to it if you can. If it's a map, use good references: four figure, if possible, six figure. If it says referring to the map, well then it wants you to talk about what's on the map. Make sure you're specific. Case studies. I know they're the thing that a lot of people dread, but revising them, it's important that you don't try and learn every single bit of information for every case study. You can't do it. Your head will explode. You'll start behaving like these pigeons out here. They're still at it. You can't do it. So pick out three or four key facts from each case study and remember them. The examiner, when they're right, reading your answer, wants to see that you know about that particular place, not just a generic answer. So if you can remember some key facts, you can then elaborate on those in the exam. There's no need to remember every single bit of information. So when you read through the case studies on the revision website, abbeyfieldhumanities.blogspot.com, make sure that you make some revision cards and summarise it. Don't write the whole thing out. You'll never remember it. Pick out three or four key facts and then use those to help you to structure your answer. And you can add to them in the exam by writing, therefore, as a result, this means that. Also, make sure you select the right case study. You'll be given at the end of each uh, theme uh, two case studies to choose from. Take some time to read them both and think, how much can I write for these two? Once you've made a considered opinion, then write your answer. But don't just charge in and answer the first one. Think about what you're going to write. Can you write enough to get eight marks? And can you remember the facts? So what else is available? Well, 
hopefully you know by now, abbeyfieldhumanities.blogspot.com, comprehensive revision materials, key terms, uh, core content, and also the case studies. Go through it, make some case study revision cards, and then summarize and summarize again and then summarize again. The process of summarizing, picking up the key information and doing something with it is a good revision technique. If you just write the whole thing out and then reread it and read it and read it, it's not the best way. Do something with it each time. Also, keep up to date on Twitter at abgeography, A W B geography. I've been posting some uh, revision bits and pieces of information, key terms, that kind of stuff, and I'll keep doing so up until the exam. So keep up to date. If you haven't got Twitter, you can follow or like the page on Facebook, which is Abbeyfield Humanities. I almost forgot so another video and you've got to watch. We haven't got to, but I would recommend watching is one that I've made about um, answering specific questions. It's got examples of questions and uh, kind of answers that would give you a full marks. So have a look at that. I'll put the link underneath this video on YouTube, but it's also on the revision pages of the website. Okay, I'm going now. Definitely, I promise. See you.